Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Samat. Today we are at Queen's Park in the south side of Glasgow and we're gonna go and look for some Pokemon. I don't really know what Pokemon spawns in this massive park so I'm excited to see what's around and see whether I can get more interesting Pokemons or anything new. So enjoy the sunshine and catch some Pokemon today. Let's go! Subscribe! We're in Queen's Park, the third largest park here in Glasgow. We're starting off with the wildlife pond here in Queen's Park. It's a wildlife pond because there's a little island in the middle that's trying to encourage a micro ecosystem for all the wildlife, like the birds, ducks, mallards, all that stuff to come and chill out here. There, you can see the island from here. Right now, we're going to walk towards uh, some poke stops that are signages and these signages are sprinkled all around Queen's Park and they are usually poke stops. And here we are at Camp Hill House. I'm not quite sure why Pokemon Go has stated it as a library because it's not a library. It's actually a private residence of nine flats right now. And it used to be a farmhouse converted into a museum that contained like memorabilia from the Battle of Langside. But it is now a really cool residence right in the middle of Queen's Park. We're gonna go towards that poke stop over there and it has a Team Rocket, so we're gonna try and beat him. I don't think I've ever encountered this team leader before. So <laughs> let's see if we can actually beat him. This Pokestop here is that signboard over there. Wildlife Haven Walkway, trail marker for Queens Park, wild meadow and woodlands. And there's gonna be a <laughs> Team Rocket guy here as well. <laughs> so we're gonna try and beat him. His goatee is shaped like a Pokeball. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see it? Oh my god. <laughs> Two hours later. Um, I cannot beat Leader Cliff. I can't beat Leader Cliff, like the, the guy with the Pokeball beard. <laughs> so strong. Um, obviously my Pokemon are not at all up to par with what's required to beat these Team Rocket leaders. So I need to start catching Pokemon that actually have really good appraisal. Because my Pokemon are weak as hell and they die like in an instant. He had like an Oma Star that could murder your Pokemon with one one like move. I don't remember what it was. It was not Hydro Pump, it was something else. But jeez. <laughs> I feel defeated. So I quit. <laughs> I'm gonna go and catch more Pokemon now. So we're walking towards the Scottish Poets Rose Garden right now. And there is this Pokestop called Memory Stone, but I cannot find any information about this location. So if anyone knows anything about it, please let me know in the comments below. There seems to be a Pokestop here, and it is this poetry stone. <laughs> David Lindsay Stoneworks, Edinburgh. You can see it here. Poetry stone in arc and kissed one of three large carved stones in Queen's Park Poetry Garden. Cool. The Scottish Poets Rose Garden was actually constructed to celebrate Glasgow's hosting of the World Rose Convention in July 2003 and it commemorates Scottish poets like Burns and McDermid. There's tons of these stones, sculptures around, and they're, they're really beautiful. Also, there are memorials donated all around, which are Pokestops as well. Queen's Park has tons of pathways that are just covered in plants, and it's just lovely to walk around. If you're at the entrance, there's always going to be a Pokestop at the welcome sign, so spin that Pokestop, get those gifts! We're now at the big lake where everyone kind of congregates and just chills out and watches swans. What Pokemon is this? <laughs> Tell me, what Pokemon is it? <laughs> the Commonwealth mascot is actually this smiley-faced thistle named Clyde and he represents 
the national flower of Scotland, which is an important symbol for Scotland for about 500 years now. Really cool! So there is a Pokestop here, and it is actually the outdoor gym, which is kind of blocked off the humans right now <laughs> because of obvious reasons. Brand new installment of Queen's Park first ever outdoor gym, not on the street. That's a shame. Look, <laughs> here it is. <laughs> oh well, no one can exercise outside now. <laughs> okay, so there's another gym here and it is, it is the Queen's Park Arena, which is obviously closed off to people because they don't want people to congregate. There are still people hanging out, it seems. I'm playing squash for some reason. But yeah, this is the gym here. After observing people play squash in the arena, we headed towards the Queen's Park Baptist Church, which is this really cool church by one of the entrances of Queen's Park. And it was designed by an architect called William Lepper. And its design is mostly French Gothic style. It's quite a prominent, iconic building. I think the sauce is fucking tamed in this gym. Really? <laughs> Fraser is catching a the poker gym, the Baptist church right next to us right now. So if you can see around here, you can get a lot of glamiaus, chimchars, um, omastar. There's that beaver people up. These are the Pokemon that I've been coming across while walking around. And oh look, the gym is empty now because Fraser has just taken over. <laughs> Look at the Gengar! We're now headed towards the other side of Queen's Park where the Halabaya tree and UN tree are located. Here's the stop. The Halabaya tree. It says it's in remembrance of the Kurdish civilians planted by Friends of Kurdistan Society in remembrance of thousands of Kurdish civilians murdered in chemical bombing of Halabaya by the Iraqi Batist regime on 16 March 1988. So this is the tree that they planted as a remembrance to that. So right next to the Halabaya tree is this one, which is the UN tree in Pokemon Go. And it says this tree was planted in 1970 to mark the 25th anniversary of United Nations. It's really big now. Oh. What a lovely way of remembering something. These trees are going to be massive and standing tall for a very long time. We're walking towards the glass houses now. But we're going to walk past the Victoria Infirmary, which was a very important hospital in the late 1800s. It used to be a voluntary hospital and then it became a essential outpatients department. It has beautiful architecture as well and I think it's going to be demolished, which is so sad. So here we are. There's a gym here at the Queen's Park Glasshouse gates. Oh, we can't go inside, but I managed to put my Tyranitar into this. We can't go in, I guess, because of the pandemic, but... <laughs> oh man, it would have been super nice. Yeah. Look at this statue. <laughs> Is it a panda? It's a panda. Cool, 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 cool. There it is, Queen's, Queen's Park Glass House that we can't really see but at least I can try and show you the outside of it. <laughs> Alright, it's time for a Pokedex check. These are the Pokemon that I either hatched or caught that are new to my Pokedex. I hatched my very first Venipede. It looks kind of like a cockroach, doesn't it? Like a, like a red cockroach. <laughs> and then I got my first Dweeble. <laughs> He's pretty alright, he's got 3 stars, but it's not like full, but not too bad either. And I hatched a Kimiko. This is cute, like you can't really do much with it. I don't think it's a powerful Pokemon. It's only like 
0.59 kilograms like it's tiny i also got my first rogan roller i mean it's cute where is the eye on this thing is it the the thing in the middle is that the eyeball okay thank you so much for watching that was our afternoon in queen's park there are a lot of Omanites here and apparently Omasta is extremely strong based on that Team Rocket leader that I could not beat. I tried three times to beat him but I really couldn't so I'm gonna catch more Omanite and try and get an Omasta myself. Uh, a really good high appraisal one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you would explore Queen's Park because there are tons of things to see. The park is massive and there's so many Pokemon here especially on a sunny day like this it's really nice to just play outside and enjoy the sunshine. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. Definitely add me on Pokemon Go if you want me to send you gifts. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye!